Michelle, I have a question. How much do you think it costs to feed all the tegus here? Um, four minutes. You think it costs four minutes? Okay, how about, how much money do you think it costs? Probably not worth a high. Five money. Five monies, so five dollars? Okay, that's your guess. Okay, Liam, what do you think it costs? How much money do you think it costs to feed all these tegus? Fifteen. Fifteen? 14? That's a good guess. Not a bad guess. 16? 16? Okay. So you think $16? $18? Maybe $18? Yeah. Okay, so $18 for a feeding for all the tegus? That's not a bad guess. What do you guys think? How much do you guys think it costs to feed all these tegus in one feeding? So we're not talking about a week or a month, but just one feeding to feed all the tegus that are outside here. Hmm. All right, in this video, we're gonna jump into that. Welcome back to another Rose City Reptiles video. I'm Joey. This is Rose City Reptiles, and today we're gonna be talking about the cost of feeding a tegu. I get that question a lot. What does it cost to feed a tegu? Well, I'm gonna share with you some, some tips and tricks to save money without without cutting corners in your tegu's diet, okay? That's that's not the point of this at all. The point of this is to meet the needs of the tegu and then some, so even more than just meeting their needs, but giving them what they need to thrive, but not breaking the bank and not being completely crazy, okay? Because I couldn't do this if I was spending hundreds of dollars every week feeding tegu. So I'm gonna break it down. We're gonna break it down what it costs to feed each tegu in this video, okay? So if you like that content and you're excited and if you like Rose City Reptiles, go ahead and like this video. Let's like this video. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video. That would be pretty sweet. Go ahead and like this video and let's just jump right into it. I've got my food already out and let me show you what we're gonna be feeding today on a little bit of a budget. So we've got some dog food and some, this is croc chow and some insectivore kind of mixed together. I birthed the croc chow up into pieces. This is, I weighed it out. This is, this is about $5 worth of product. So a couple pounds of dog food and a little bit of Missouri. Okay, so that's five bucks right there. Okay, yesterday we went, we bought some catfish. So we've got two bags of catfish, $7, $6. Not too bad. Okay, now, now, hearing these prices, don't freak out because we're feeding a lot of tegus today. We're actually gonna feed every single tegu outside. So everyone's getting food. I've got all the trays out. You can see over here, we've got the trays out and then all of these cages have their trays on them. We're gonna mix up our food in here. And it's gonna, I'm gonna be like a cafeteria lady today with our cafeteria trays going around and feeding everyone. And so yeah, so where were we? Five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks. And then we've got some chicken hearts, right? I mean, chicken necks right here, $1.35, great deal. Chicken hearts, these are a really good thing to feed your tegus on a budget, they're great. Just add some uh, calcium and, and multivitamins and you're good to go. $2 for, they're $1.47 a pound. We got two bucks of those. So yeah, so I think this should be enough to feed everybody. If not, I've got some more in the building ready to go and then we've got two ground up quail right here so that's four dollars for those two quail so we're gonna mix this up I'm gonna calculate how many tegus we're feeding and how much it costs per tegu because most of you guys aren't feeding this many tegus so think about how many feedings you could get out of just this amount of food right here and um, how cost effectively you could get this done you know at home these are some different food ideas for you guys. Um, yeah, a lot of grocery stores you can find like, you know, these are literally like Ziploc bags. There's a grocery store that sells these catfish nuggets and they're great. That's, that's totally fine thing to feed your tegu. So I'm going to start uh, mixing this up in our big bowl. Stay tuned because we're going to feed some tegus and at the end of the video, we're gonna break down the cost and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it costs per tegu in today's feeding. 
All right, we'll be back. All right, so something else that we added in that I forgot to mention is some mangoes. So we cut up some mangoes and threw them in there. Those were 30 cents each at the same store that I got the catfish and the hearts. And so um, we added in three of those. So we'll just call that a dollar. So about a dollar in mangoes. Okay, we've got our food mixed up. Now time to get our hands dirty again. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. It's gonna be hard to move this around. All right, that's at least, that's like, that's a lot of food. I mean, at least 10 pounds, maybe more. But we're going to start divvying, divvying it up on the trays. I like to get it all on the trays before I feed. That way I don't shortchange anybody. So let's get started. You guys can kind of see the mix. You know, we added, so in this mix right now, you know, we've got the Missouri products and the dog food. We've got mango. We've got chicken hearts, chicken necks, catfish, whole ground up quail, a um, little bit of turkey, some blueberries. There's a lot of stuff in here, okay? And we're doing this on a budget. So, or maybe on a budget, we'll find out at the end when I total everything up. All right. So, let's start getting this onto these trays I will say one thing you do have to be kind of careful with the chicken necks those are for adult tegus only if you're gonna feed them to a younger tegu then you need to cut it up first okay there is a bone in there I did mix in the calcium already a lot of people ask when do you feed when do you give uh, calcium well anytime you're not feeding whole prey so obviously the quail was whole prey, but not everything in here was whole prey. And so, oh, sorry about that shot. Nice and close to the food. But not everything in here was whole prey, so we added calcium. So as you can see, we're just doing a, right now it's just like a quick divvy up. And then I come back through, make it look pretty, and make sure that it's all divvied up correctly. Okay, looking good so far. Now we'll go to these enclosures. Give some to these guys. And I kind of do everything, not everyone gets the exact same amount. I, I know how these tegus are eating. I know who is really in the mode of pounding the food and I know who is who's not you know I have several tegus who are just now starting to eat and they're not going to eat that much and some that are wanting to eat everything so so that's why you know I do individual trays for them and that's why they may some may look different than others is just because I am I kind of know how their how their eating habits are right now during this time of the year, it can vary greatly. Sorry, I know I'm trying to carry this food and do all this for you guys. Okay, we've got some more food going out here. That should be good. Let's go down to the next one. Oh, um, Mako shed. He shed his winter coat. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of Mako fans out there. I'm gonna show him off a little bit in this video. How about we do that? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna feed Mako right now. I'm getting their plate ready, their tray. Get them a little piece of mango. They love the fruit. Okay, that's, that's quite a bit of food. They've been, he has been having a big appetite and he is in with a very special tegu. They produced an amazing clutch last year. And we're doing it again this year because I have to. I think I'll do this every year because their babies turned out incredible. Mako and Ryder. You guys ready to see Mako? Ryder has not shed. She actually was like my last Tegu to wake up. 
She just woke up a few days ago, but she woke up eating. So let's look at Mako. Yeah, my gosh. Here we go. Here he is, the one and only Mako and Ryder. This guy is so red. He's just red, just solid red. I love his little flecks of white in there. Beautiful guy. But let's go ahead and and just so you guys know, it is early afternoon, so it's not really heating up yet. That's why they're moving kind of slow. But he's gonna eat for us right here on video. What does he eat first? Catfish. He's going for the catfish. <laughs> like I said, he's kind of a little cool and sluggish, so sometimes their eating is a bit clumsy when that's going on. He still hasn't been able to get that in his mouth. He is determined to get that catfish. He had to dip it in dirt first. Well, I guess they both wanted the catfish. It looks like looks like Ryder's gonna get it. Alright, Ryder got the catfish. He went for the mango. There you go, buddy. Yeah, there, there's Mako, eating mango. All right, so now we are at Pumpkin's Enclosure. She's in here alone right now. And let's go ahead and feed her. She's gonna come over and eat right now because I can see her watching them. She's watching Mako next to her and she's wanting some of his food. And now we're at Houdini, big, thick Houdini. She may be one of the gravid tegus we have right now. So give her a little bit of everything. As you can see, we've got the mango, we've got some catfish, heart, dog food. we got it all. Um, we'll give her a little more catfish. Give her as much as she wants, pretty much is what we're doing here. And because she's Houdini, we've got a lock on her cage because she gave us a scare a few years ago. Her door is very tight because she's Houdini. So let's get this open. All right, we got it. Let's put the food in there. There you go, girl. Here's Houdini, looking nice and thick. Got that door, drop the bolt in. Good to go. Okay, so now we've got to put all the food in. We're almost there. We're getting close. It doesn't take too long. It's not too hard. It's not super time consuming. It takes more time to prep it. You know, I came out before I got the camera and I uh, got all their trays out of their enclosures, cleaned them off, got everything ready. So, we are ready to start feeding some of the large enclosures. Let's see. Who's gonna be first? We'll get this tray here. This deliciousness right here. This is gonna go to the F1 tribrids. If you guys have seen that video, you know exactly who I'm talking about. See how nice that is? That's why we're gonna do videos like that. So you guys know who I'm talking about. F1 tribrids. They've got their food now. Of course the female's gonna, you know, she's a little, she's a little moody. A little bit of a moody female there. We'll win her over. We will win her over eventually. Okay, now, up next, let me get this door open. The F2 tribrids. They were out earlier. Let's pick a plate for them. They're not huge tegus. They don't need a ton of food. Um, hmm, let me find the right tray. The right tray for the right tegus. Let me take that out. Here we go. This will do them just right. Right there, that's a good amount of food for two decent sized tegus. And they're not out, one was just up here. So maybe with those moving around out here, they decided to go into the shade. Okay, up next. We're gonna do Van. You guys know Van, maybe. Some of you guys know Van. Oh, let me fix something on here. 
There we go. Okay, Van and, and a couple of his girlfriends. I'm not sure how they're eating actually. Their appetite's been changing, picking up. So I'm gonna give them a big plate. They've got a lot of catfish on here. And this is kind of my tester. If they eat all of it, I'd be shocked, but it would be good because that female is a big girl. Nice, beautiful, purple female. Hopefully she breeds this season with a van. Oh, there we go. These doors up next is Topaz. That's a good looking group right there. Okay, let's get them a nice solid plate. They are eating really well. Um, we'll save our chicken neck for someone else. Let's give them this plate. It has a lot of catfish on it, so I'm gonna add a little bit of variety. That's why I kept a little bit in this bowl, so I can do this. Add some mango and a few chicken hearts. Now let's go over there. Give it to Topaz and his two ladies which one of them is shedding today. So that's nice to see. I'm about to show you all the blue albino girl. She may be gravid. Here she is. Beautiful, beautiful female. Love this girl. You can see Topaz did bite her up a little bit. That's part of breeding. Nothing, nothing bad. You know, it's just everything normal. Um, and then this girl shedding and Topaz is like usual on the hunt and looking beautiful. He is chasing her around right now. That's what he's doing. But she's got plenty of places to hide. She's got this vi big visual barrier. She dug underneath the hide to give her a little extra place to hide. And so she can get away. See how she runs away and he quits chasing that's why i have these visual barriers in their enclosure and i think they're really important if she gets out of sight he loses interest look at that albino female big appetite right now we're hoping she's got some eggs cooking in there from this big beast to this girl that will be some beautiful babies Cross your fingers for me. Cross your fingers for me. That's one clutch I'm really hoping to get. Really hoping to get. I would be super excited. Okay, our high white blues and our purples. Let's go ahead and feed them. They're in here. I'm gonna be moving these guys in here. I'm moving them over here. There's more space. And since there's three of them, I think they'll like it more. We've got the grass growing in here. This is gonna be a great enclosure. I just gotta add some. Um, metal some smaller gauge metal so um yeah let's open this up and feed these guys sorry i know the camera's kind of everywhere today it's kind of hard doing all this while holding a camera so bear with me okay a little bit of everything for them beautiful that is a thick girl right there and that's the boy amazing they're hungry. They're going to come eat right now. She's got her catfish over here. These guys just shared a piece of catfish. Some, re some tegus just want what other tegus have. Like, look at the plate. And he's going to go chase her over this little piece of catfish. She's not gonna let him have it. Come eat, dude. So that's that's the boy right there. Really nice, high white. Beautiful. Can't wait to see what they produce. And then you guys know this girl. That is Anna. That's Anna right there. Breeding her to the high white. Produce some amazing purples. And then these two will produce the high white blues this year. So, that's that. Fed them. I know a lot of people have been asking about that, but like I've been saying, we're going to do videos that go into details about all of the pairs that we have together. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. That's going to be 
probably coming out every week another video another uh group pair video okay let me drop this in these are the high blue blue tegus not very good lighting right now so you can't see it you can't see their true colors very beautiful group of blue tegus breeding here okay let's see who's next so we fed topaz now let's feed some beautiful black and white tegus they need a nice big plate here we go the flies are out can't can't help that a lot of flies right now i'm gonna add a little bit more food to this plate because these are some really big tegus i'm pretty sure they've got a good appetite so you can see how much food i'm putting on here it's quite a bit of food three tegus all fairly large let's see if i can get this door open okay got it here they are oh not filling the camera today i'm gonna set the food down over here they're gonna go back there and hide that's not typical i think because just how i opened the door i did it all weird they're not filling me right now they've been doing really good i mean seem to be getting used to me not the camera though so that's them now let's get another big plate we've got a very special group next i believe it's payload right next thing yeah payload and payload and his girl are out and oh my goodness i haven't showed her off yet on the channel i'm going to show a little bit of her right now but we're definitely going to do a video just about these two so here is the one and only mr payload himself i know you guys have been dying to see him but let me show you his girl there she is she looks just like him but just a female version a little bit of an attitude let me feed them see if we can get a closer shot hey payload you're gonna have to move he's he's right in my way he's right where i like to put the put the food so you go right over there buddy okay got the food let's put it in and of course he's gonna come over here and start eating i mean that's just that's what he does we really have to watch him but look how good he's looking he's lost some weight this big enclosure was the was the trick he moves around this enclosure all day long and he goes straight for the chicken neck no worries about giving a tegu his size a chicken neck they can handle it look at that big beautiful boy he's amazing definitely one of my favorites if not my favorite this guy is perfect he's beautiful but he's also got an incredible personality just super confident i may have to get some more food on there just for the female because he's probably gonna just devour it okay that one's shut now the black nose black and whites are next and then the high blacks and then the reds and everyone will be fed then it'll be time for me to crunch some numbers figure out exactly what it costs to feed everyone today that way you guys can know what you're getting yourself into okay high blacks i got their food right here add just a little bit to that they're pretty pretty big tegus and the female especially has had a really big appetite here recently so here are the black nose black and whites very pretty you can see they're gonna come right over and eat they literally i mean they look identical to each other just one's a male and one's a female really cool looking black and white tegus beautiful 
burnt nose black and whites. You do not see these very often at all. These are fairly rare and hopefully we'll be producing them this season. This is a perfect pair. They're really, really pretty. I like them a lot. But you can see them. Like I said, she has a really big appetite. He's eating, but not like her. So most of this is going to go to her. And that's okay. That is okay, and that is normal during breeding season. Females' appetites pick up, and the males got one thing on their mind. So, up next is the high blacks. And once we get over there, I gotta show you guys something very exciting about the high blacks. So, let's definitely add some more to this tray. So I want them to have as much as they'd like. Okay. And I want them to have as much as they like because I think the female is grabbing. I think she is. So let's go over here, check her out. They're, they've been very, very defensive of their enclosure. I gotta set this down so I can open this. So yeah, they've been very defensive of their enclosure. I went in here yesterday and the female charged me. So today I came in early this morning and I added in a bunch of hay on the ground. Because if you can see, let's see if they let me come in here. They're up there. Okay, she seems fine. All right. So you can see this plant that I planted right there, that pompous grass. They, or she, I'm guessing, pulled it and tried getting it into the hide. That to me, see how it's down here? That's nesting behavior. Okay. So, and then if I could get a shot of her, you can't really see it because he's covering her up. Her belly is gigantic. Ginger, quit dogs just got into the take food so yeah her belly's looking really big looking like she's full of eggs this is definitely um, top oh, I don't know it's up there in priority for me I really want to get eggs from these guys because I just think they're outstanding beautiful animals so I'm gonna add in their food right here they'll make their way over here in just a minute and eat it up you can see him tongue flicking right now. He smells it already. All right, let's get a close up shot of the high blacks. Oh, like I said, she doesn't like us in here. She was going to come down here and tell us to get away. That's a sign that, you know, anytime you see personality change, changing, it's for a reason. So I do believe. And she's probably gravid. There they are. Amazing. So, yeah, I, I think she's gravid. So we're going to give her some space. They need space. They need food. So she's got her food. She'll come in here. Up next that we're going to be feeding is our high reds. These guys are amazing. They still haven't shed, but they will. I believe they will in the next week. So let's go ahead and feed them and check up on them, see how they're doing. So I'm going to add a little bit of what's left. And then the leftovers in there go on the ground to the dogs. They know. Look at them. <laughs> they know I just threw that down. <laughs> there they go. They love that part of this. They always hang out while I'm feeding the tegus. Okay. High reds. We got two of them out. Let me show these to you guys. Look at the big male. Can't wait for him to shed. Oh, camera's messing up. Okay. Big, huge red tegu. And then here's the female. These are the ones that produce that oddball that I have. And I will say she's looking rather plump. I don't know. Haven't seen any breeding going on, but you know, they might want to do it, do all of that in privacy. Okay. We threw their food in there. There it is. There they are. 
living their best life, maybe producing some babies for us this season, hopefully. So yeah. Payload uh, finished eating and now he's just passed out on top of his food. Living, living, the, living the life. Okay, we got a couple, one more. This is it. This, oh no, we've got some more to feed down there. Okay. So, we've got this guy. It's albino male. He's in here with a purple female. I'm kind of balancing this on my head. Let's go ahead and toss that in there. Hey buddy, you got some food. There's your food. He's still kind of cool. The sun hasn't made its way to this enclosure quite yet for the day. Like I said earlier, it's kind of early in the day, but it will warm up. It's gonna be hot today. But not that hot. I mean, you know, it's still spring here in Texas. We're getting in the low 80s. Today's going to be like 81. So not bad, but not not hot yet. But still, on, on days that it's 80 degrees, the ground inside their enclosures is easily getting up over 100. And so, oh, we do have one more to feed. We've got, and this guy hasn't really been eating that much, but he did. He ate for his first time just last week. Um, so he's not eating much yet, but we, we fixed him up a little plate. Oh, that's trash. That's the sticker is on the mango. Okay, so we fixed him up a little plate. We're gonna feed him and see if he is ready to start eating yet. There you go, buddy. This is our annery male. He shed and looks amazing. And he is going to eat. He's definitely showing some interest. He may not eat with us standing right here. He's a little, he's a little nervous still. We're working on it. But it looks like a lot of the tegus are done eating already. They clean their plate. They're looking nice and plump. Oh, and now they can enjoy their day basking away. But alrighty. Well, that was a nice little video feeding the tegus and now let's jump right into the numbers what this video cost to feed all these tegus let's jump right into that okay so i'm out here on the front porch now i did some some math so i broke it down okay it's actually really simple um all i did is we have about 40 adult tegus that we fed today. We didn't see all of them on camera, but that's how many we fed. And I put enough food in each enclosure to where even the ones that weren't out yet, when they come out, there's carpenter bees out here. When they come out, they will eat that food. So we fed 40 tegus and the total cost of the food was a little over $20. So $20 per feeding sounds like a lot of money. It is. But when you're feeding 40 tegus, that comes out to be about 50 cents. You guys, it it can be cheap if you buy in bulk and shop smart. So, and the food that we fed them today, that was a great, wholesome meal. That that was a complete diet. They, they loved it. They'll thrive on that. So, yeah, it can be done on a budget. You don't have to break the bank to feed your tegus 50 cents for today's feeding. And it was that was a great feeding. They ate well. So, keep that in mind when you're trying to budget and trying to figure out if you can afford to own a tegu. Well, now you know you can afford to own 40 tegus. No, I'm just kidding, but seriously, it's it's not that crazy. It's not that bad. So thank you guys so much for watching another Rose City Reptiles video. Be ready for another video coming out. Um, this one came out Tuesday morning. The next one will be out Thursday morning and then Saturday. So make sure you tune in hit those post notifications. If it's not letting you hit that bell down below, I've heard some people having problems with that. All you have to do is unsubscribe, subscribe again, and then hit the bell. There's some weird glitch. I'm not sure exactly why or how that happened, but again, thank you guys for watching. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.